the MAGA border. It's been proposed, boys. We're going to get it. And here it is. Right. Um, a local Democrat has come up with this concept art that we couldn't appreciate. Do you guys have any thoughts? Just or? a quick thing. This is something that Trump said in like 2017 or something, right? Um, maybe. 2018. Now, he made reference to this a while uh, ago. I'm saying maybe because he denies it. What? Why would he deny it? Oh, we'll find out. But I remember him saying it was, it was you know, it's just a, he was just riffing. That we should have a moat. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, well, mountain I, lions. And- I, I, I think Donald Trump did, did, add, did add thousands, if not hundreds, sorry, hundreds, hundreds of, if not thousands of miles to, to the border. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure he was riffing on it yeah. in a speech one time a few years ago. Whereas, like, we could have alligators and stuff, <laughs> which I think is a great idea. Yeah. So this is a, a local Democrat who who seemed to have dug that back up and said that if my if uh, Trump gets reelected, this is his plan for the border. He's going to have, as you can see, there alligators in a big moat that we're going to build through the desert, right? Yeah. Uh, we're then going to have electricity coming out of the fence. Yeah, an electric fence, yeah. Okay. And then there's an army soldier there with a light machine yep. gun mowing down them. Yeah. Because, okay. Then there's a, a fighter jet who, I, I don't know if he knows, but I'm pretty sure those rockets, they're not rockets you get from a fighter jet. Those are the launch vessels for the Soviet space program. They're massive. I was going <laughs> to say, they look like intercontinental missiles, don't they? Yeah, like they're the kind of thing you built to go to the moon, yeah. which... um. I, I presume that whoever made this image for him just bug it up. There we are. This is the plan for the border, he says. Which, but, I mean, that does look like a secure border. Hmm. I'm not crossing that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Because, obviously, as you can see in the comments, everyone else is just like, okay, epic. I'm voting for him. <laughs> Pro- you know, promises made, promises kept. Yeah. Already voting? I, I think at a practical, <laughs> at a practical level, that, 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 that couldn't be done. I, th- I think the, border, the Mexican border is 3,000 miles long. Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's 6,000. Yeah. Yeah. Florida will donate her best alligators. Yeah. We'll start a breeding program to get more. Yeah. Uh, well, so. that's the thing. Once the, once the alligators are established, it'll be sustainable. Yeah. We'll buy the rockets off the Soviets. I don't know what's left them. Yeah. Uh, you can see here, I love this. When I thought I was out. They bring me right back in. <laughs> <laughs> All those people who are on the Ron DeSantis train are like, I'm done with MAGA now, but you know the Democrats will never stop trying to recruit you. Yeah. So there we are. Yeah. And um, it just goes on. <laughs> Where are the spikes? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we missed adding them. But yes, he also wants spikes. Good point. Good point. Uh, well, so, um, I mean, there's room where those rocks are along the base of you. Know. Well, the, the most effective thing you can do about immigration is, is you know, if you're ever caught as an illegal, an illegal, an, an illegal immigrant, where you've been there one month, one year, a decade, you should be deported. That's mm-hmm. the most effective way of dealing with it. Yeah. I, I don't know what else to say. I just, I found this really funny. Because not only did he tweet this, which is, you know, people tweet dumb stuff all the time. Yeah, he went sure. to Congress with this proposal. Great idea. Sign him up. <laughs> yeah. So we'll listen to this. So Democrat Put this guy California. in charge of the border. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love the idea if Trump does come back yeah. as president and then it's like, yeah, um, Robert, are you busy? <laughs> I need yeah. someone who understands my vision. <laughs> <laughs> did you price this up, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> Let's enjoy. I, I, I will not yield. I want to remind the public that Donald Trump and House Republicans also have their own ideas for the border. So let's review the majority's border ideas that they've actually presented. Here they are. Donald Trump actually has said that he wants to build yeah, he did so. alligator moats along the border. That's one of his incredible ideas. Another idea that Donald Trump has promoted is he actually wants to electrify the border fence and maybe even put some spikes on the border. That's another Donald Trump and MAGA majority border idea. Another idea, which I'm not sure how how well it would go, is he wants to actually bomb Northern Mexico with missiles. That's another Trump idea. And finally, I think one of the ones that I think um, is the most grotesque is suggestions that instead we should maybe just shoot migrants in the legs as they cross the border. The alligators. So once again, the Donald Trump and MAGA plan is alligator moats, bombing (laughs) Northern Mexico, shooting migrants in the legs and electrifying the fence and putting spikes on them. That is the Donald Trump border plan. Man, I would literally, if I were Trump, I would take that clip. You know, alligators, electric fence. This is the <laughs> Donald Trump border plan. I just have that on TV all the time. Yeah, I, I just have it in the entire country. Yeah, I, I was sitting there, I was thinking, you know, do you, are you really criticizing this? Yeah. You know, you, know, you, you just, think this place? No, no. I, I, Accidental I, I, advert. 
Indeed, I, I, I believe the, even the Democrats are, are, are waking up to what the prop, you know, the, the border crisis oh, yeah. is at the moment, yeah. and you know, and that's only that's only, that's only going to only going to help uh, Donald Trump out even more, in my opinion. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Hello, folks. We just had a lovely symposium here with Harry. We discussed uh, Humboldt's limits of state action, which is a classic of libertarian philosophy. I really enjoyed it, Harry. I hope you did as well. As always, of course uh, I did. As always, and don't forget to subscribe. For, with five pounds a month, you can gain access to all our premium content. See you there. To support your point, I have the data here. So there you are. This is Southern Border Encounters. So you can see this is at the, the early stages, the last uh, moments of Donald Trump's uh, presidency. Yeah. With that, 2021? 2020. Yeah, 2020. So this is over Joe Biden. Oh, crap, because they got rid of the old line. That's what's happened. Ah. So there's only four lines, because there used to be one where you could see with Donald Trump, which was down here. And then it's just blown up so much. That's the first year. I, I can't remember. remember what didn't... 23, 22, and then... Didn't Biden begin with an executive order to, like, lower resistance to the border? Yeah, well, he abolished... We... <laughs> to be honest, this was really funny. Um, the US decided that because of COVID... Wink. Yeah. <laughs> we can't risk any of them Mexicans coming across. So everyone who turned up was in immediately deported under health guidance, hmm. which was allowed because the, the who was suggesting that at the time. And then they just kept it. Yeah. For ages. Well, I, I think it was what, May 22? I think they finally got rid of it. Something like that. May, May 2022. But, uh, but no. uh, on top of Joe Biden saying that he was going to be weak on the border and then all the messaging, everything yeah. else, and then just people turning up and finding out that the Americans have stolen the British policy of just giving them all your money and your leg. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, but by the way, my, my, my understanding, the reason Biden is doing this is I think the Democrats are, are finally admitted that they're going to they're they're lose the 2024 election. Mm. And they're deliberately destabilizing the country to hand it over to Donald Trump. Yeah. Quite possibly. a deliberate ploy. Yep. Also, there might be, um, what can I say? Um, and also, as, also as well, because most of them will go, get, will end up living in Democrat uh, states. They'll, they'll get extra, extra Congress yeah. and Senate seats as well. And also, and elections will become freer and more secure. There we are. That's how yes. I phrase it. Yes, your postal vote and, and your ballot box. Yes. Become even more secure if there are 300,000 legals every month mm. coming across. I mean, that's a mad one. 300k a month now. Um, yeah. I mean, the numbers here, I mean, what are we looking at? That's um, 1.7K. Oh, everything's yeah. broken. So yeah. that's 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, 6 million, over 7 million now. Yeah, sure. Well, I don't, I don't you know, a shade and Freud is, is a very nasty, nasty um, attitude to have and, uh, and feeling. But when I see, I see all, all those uh, uh, illegal migrants in uh, New York City and other Democrat strongholds, and they have to deal with it and pay for it themselves, and they're closing down schools to put people in gyms and things like that, serves you bloody well right. Yeah, the Martha's Vineyard incident. Yeah, I know. Absolutely absolute hypocrisy. I've been there, by the way. It really is an expensive area. It's I bet it bloody is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't pay a lot of taxes to keep the, uh, the immigrants out. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> you you know, think they could accommodate 50 human beings? Easily. It's, 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 it's quite rural, actually. It's quite rural. You know, when you, when you, when you go from, you know, from a town to another town, you know, it's, it's obviously a very small place. You go through lots of countryside. And they can easily accommodate well, 1,000, 2,000 people there. No problems. But of course we can't because, you know, we're hypocrites. I mean, even, even though that sign, didn't they? They said refugees welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if this uh, continues, I mean, what would we be looking at by the time of ending, uh, Biden's presidency? Probably eight, nine million yeah. illegals yeah. in a four-year term? Yeah. It's, it's just insane, isn't it? Yeah, I know. So, Purposely done. Yeah, I know. Um, Paid for by the American tax. But I, 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 I think, I, I personally feel in the medium, in the short to medium term, the Democrat Party will pay very badly. Uh, will, will pay very badly for that. Hopefully, because that's now more people than U.S. births. So yeah. that's a thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, well, I suppose maybe fortunately, Donald Trump might have changed his mind. As, oh, really? As you rightly said, he, he did mention this before. Yeah. yeah. So this was back in 2019. He said the press are now <laughs> trying to sell the fact that I wanted a moat stuffed with alligators and snakes. They missed yep. the snakes. An electrified fence with sharp spikes on top at our southern border. I may be tough on border security, but I'm not that tough. The press have gone crazy. Fake news. Yeah, but then seven to eight million people invaded whilst you were gone, buddy. So Yeah, maybe you need to get tougher on the border. Yeah. I mean, even at the time, people thought, oh, you know, it's, yeah. it's not bad. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. a good idea at the time. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 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 So, so, could do that. But uh, I thought we, we'd play a little game, have some fun. Top three borders. Why not? I've got some recommendations. 
Okay. Uh, well, it's got to be Israel's, right? That's going to be one of them, sure. In fact, I think that's number two I've listed here. I oh, know it's okay. number. It's this one here, right. which um, I don't know. It's the one after. There we are. This is Israel. This is what you're thinking of. Yep. yep. So that's um a good option. Yep. Fan favorite. I mean, there are, there are bits where it's like giant concrete walls as well. Yeah. What about uh, the border of Ramallah between Egypt and uh, Gaza? Good point. That's a good one as well. I think that's actually basically the same structure as yeah. the Israel one. Isn't I, it? B- I believe they've been putting extra, extra barbed wire on it recently. Really? Yes. Why? They're appalling. They, 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 they let um, Humza Yusef's relations go out the border, you know, open the gate and yeah. thank you very much. And off to Turkey we go. Why don't we meet up with er- Erdogan? But uh, yeah, um, so good, good board with Ramallah. You know, um, the, the, Egypt, uh, uh, the Egyptians do not want the Palestinians in their country at all. Nope. Yeah. And the wonderful thing about the Israel one as well, as you probably know, is massive. I mean, just, it's certainly the case that you can build this at scale because it's been done. And um, I'm sure the Americans... Well, the Chinese done. showed us that 800 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> like, we know walls work, for Christ's sake. That's a good one as well. It's a good uh, classic. Um, the, the other one I was thinking of, because I have experience of it, is the Hungarian-Serbian border. So this is it. Serbia to the south, Hungary to the north. Yep. This is the crossing point, nice and civilized. And then across the whole border, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's uh, several layers of fencing, track for armed guys, I mean, the security literally have AKs, mm-hmm. driving up and down. Yep. And then they have cameras, electric uh, wire, and razor wire strewing the entire thing. And it goes on the entire Serbian uh, Hungarian border there. Oh, God forbid so, a Serb gets into your country. Also, the Polish, <laughs> be, the Polish Belarus border as well. Same thing. Same yeah. thing. I think we yeah, yeah, the Poles roll out. One, yeah. And uh, probably I can go up here and then I'm trying to remember where it is. It's not on the breast side, is it? Somewhere up there in Gdynia or whatever. So they, they fortified the hell out of this. So I think this is where we had all that footage of them trying to cross at the point. And then this line here, again, it's just miles and miles of razor wire hmm. and cameras and armed guards. So that's a, another one. The Europeans can certainly do some. Um, but I think the king, the king of border security, does have to go to everyone's favorite, uh, the North and South Koreans. No, of Congratulations. Course. <laughs> of course. I mean, nowhere quite does it like a place with the phrase bridge of no return. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not the kind of place you have a few jars, you know, have a few sherbets in the evening, and for a day you cross the border, is it? Yeah, that, 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 they can't do that. <laughs> so people who don't know, because it is actually... Um, Seemingly quite fun is you have the American side over here, and then this is what everyone sees, which is those blue huts where the armistice was signed on the North Korean side. But of course, the, the border is bloody huge. I mean, it spans the entire cross section of the peninsula. 51st parallel, is it? And they don't just have a bit of razor wire like us. Um, they went a bit further than that. You've got armed guards along the whole thing, of course, on both sides. Uh, the North Korean side is quite funny, landmines everywhere. Uh, they also have, running up to it, checkpoints at every point. So you can't, if you're an North Korean citizen, just drive on down. Mm-hmm. You have to get permission. And um, as you can see, I mean, places with names like Bridge of No Return mm-hmm. and sections where you could stare at each other. I think a total in the last 10 years of two people have crossed it. Wow, that's so I mean, Very so. effective border. Donald Trump is one of those people. <laughs> 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 the other one was a guy. Kim Jong-un. <laughs> <laughs> So there well, we are. <laughs> go, go show you how bad uh, North Korea is. Uh, there's, there's somebody I know who went, went, on, went on holiday to North Korea and China. <laughs> you. And uh, when he was on the train uh, going back from North Korea to China, when he finally arrived in China, he felt safe again. Yeah. It's a the common. I, the irony to go, to go to China and, and you feel safe. Mm. So, so, so menacing is, uh, is North Korea. There's a, a common theme of people who go on holiday and, and come back to so like, oh my God, commercialism. I'm back in capitalism. It's like, yeah. Are you? No, you're back in China. Yeah, sure. Oh, there we the, um, the, by the way, very quickly, the GDP. Obviously, the North and South Koreans are the same, the same homogenous race. The GDP per capita in South Korea is thirty nine thousand dollars. In North Korea, it's one thousand seven hundred dollars. Yeah, that's the difference between capitalism and communism. But in terms of border security, I must admit, I do actually prefer the yeah. North Koreans because they're a bit more serious about it than South Koreans, which um. You know, do have all the razor wire and everything else, but the North having several checkpoints even leading up to it, and then a bunch of uh, armed guards. Do have defense in depth, Callum? You do indeed, and I, I think we should send a special envoy to Pyongyang to tell us their secrets. Yeah, I know. Then... Donald Trump's going to get Kim Jong Un as an advisor to the American border wall. Yeah, and then uh, you it know, could be an export industry. You know, could come to Britain, <laughs> come to Britain and be our guards. 
They, they make a huge amount of money, I think, from selling statues because they're the masters. So for African dictators, they sell all their statues to them. But um, yeah, they've got a new market here, which is border security. I mean, if you look at the American one, you, you're right. There is the this is a bit of the old wall that just grabs a bit into the sea and then stops. I do feel like I could swim, swim around it. Yeah, there are there is a point here where they'll just stop you. Well, some guys will come up with guns, yeah, and true. there is uh, plenty of border wall. Even though the thing is bloody huge, of course. Actually, the, the, the Canadian border is, is is deserted near enough. Yeah, it's just some trees. Yeah, uh, sometimes. It's actually rather funny. I don't know if people have seen it before. Because you, you mentioned it, it's great. Isn't it a, a, a line carved through the trees? Yeah, they pay some guys to go and cut the trees. Oh, there's yeah. not a forest there. But if you go and find somewhere where there is a forest, there's just this big gap yeah. for no good reason. Because what does it matter? <laughs> like, no one cares. But yeah, this bit's been cut down. Sure. Really? Is that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't going to build a fence. So what was the point? Well, you know, it just strikes me the easiest way to enter, enter, enter America, you know, it's, it's from Canada. But, uh, hey. Because um, you know, there's there's very little wall, uh, very, but there's very little you know, obstacles in the way. Yeah. Well, it's because the Canadians are generally law abiding. Yeah. <laughs> eh, new Canadians, bit of a security risk. Wow. I'll have the conversation. But there we are, top three borders. So there's some ideas. If Donald Trump thinks his old ideas haven't gone far enough, um, call up uh, your good friend, and I'm sure he'll sort you out. But this isn't the only thing to come out of this that I uh, enjoyed. There was uh, the liberal solution. This conversation. You know what else stops illegal immigration, guys? Foreign aid. Just, just Does give, it? Just give infinite money to the foreigners. And trust me, they won't come thinking you've got loads of money. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Do we, have, yeah. do we have a case study on that? <laughs> I, yeah. <what>? When? <laughs> a local man disagreed. Yeah. yeah. Infinite money to every country forever or wall. Yeah. Right. I read, read Neil Ferguson's book, Empire about the British Empire and what have you. And uh, he did, did a chapter on, <laughs> on foreign aid. Uh, or we, mm -hmm. Referenced it anyway. Apparently, between 19, 1955 and 1995, the West gave $1 trillion in aid to Africa. Oh, yeah. 500, half of that is thought to be in Swiss bank accounts. Oh, yeah. That's a space station for reference. Like, that's the ISS yeah. cost. Yeah, indeed, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, and also, as well, uh, I've forgotten forgot her name. She's a Zambian lady. Um, she, uh, she called it Dead Aid. And she said that giving aid to Africa and, and giving aid, aid to developing countries is a complete waste of time and it stimmies and stops and represses mm. the economies. That... Well, it's a good way to hold up corrupt regimes. You give them lots of money and they buy lots of guns. Yeah, sure. Hire lots of mercenaries. Yeah. Uh, the best, fu the be funny enough, I've got, I've got my Primark t shirt of the day under, underneath my shirt. I, I, I do use pri pri Primarty, but most of the stuff's made in Bangladesh. Yeah. Um, in, 1980, in 1985, um, 45 45% of the world lived in abject poverty or absolute poverty, i.e. $2 a day or less. Um, the current figure for 2022 is 9.4%. Free trade has facilitated it. You know, giving, you know, just going down to Primark and, and buying, buying a T-shirt made, made from, uh, from a, a place in Bangladesh is far more effective than, than paying taxes and giving aid. Now, we should be very proud as, as a sort of free market champions. That free, that that's uh, that, uh, free, relatively free world trade has has been able to bring so many. It's probably two two billion people now now have access to electricity, education, running water. So um, we we know we should thank ourselves. Yeah, th we should thank free trade for that. Are you sure? Because it seems that I'm being told the story that nothing exists outside of the West, and if we don't let them in. And actually, we're condemning them to a life of poverty, scratching around in the dirt. Uh, I don't. I know the sweat sweatshop workers. It, it, I'm, I'm I joking. Say, I, say, <laughs> I say sweatshop. Um, we, we, uh, absolute poverty is two dollars a day. They actually earn about a dollar an hour. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm obviously just joking. Yeah. Sure. Obviously, outside of the West, human life is possible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're sure. <laughs> well, I, I have. Why? Well, well, you've got to logically infer it from all the people who turn up on the borders. Yeah. Well, where did they come from? I love how um, I think Russia got kicked out of the West effectively, and now we're also meant to believe that life is just not existing there. Mm. So, but, they, but what human life not possible in Russia? No, no. all of a sudden that's gone as well. Because mm. I mean, sincerely, what is this guy arguing exactly? You know, just send them foreign aid for what? Mm. They have societies; they've got free trade. Like, things are working, bro. Sure, uh, the growth rates are not bad. The, well, the, the only thing is that, that will work is tough love. Yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that's going to work. But this, 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 Mr. Cope's position there, 
comes from a position. <laughs> Uh, it comes from a presupposition. <laughs> well, his name's Brian Cope. Yeah, it is. So Mr. Cope, with his crying face and uh, happy mask, uh, he, well, he just assumes that we're better than him. That, that's, we have to give them our money in order for them to survive. There's just no other way of looking at it. Sure. So I think we're on the, on the case of um, just build the wall. Yeah, and um, if you want to add some tigers or leopards or spikes or whatever else, go for it, and that'll probably actually save the world, sure. weirdly enough. Um, but that, we're not the only people, and Donald Trump's not the only person thinking about this. Uh, there are a group of people who do seem a bit mad. They've declared themselves God's army, and are traveling to the southern border to fix it, which... I think it's a little naive, <laughs> uh, a little naive, perhaps. A lot of people are calling this story some kind of, like, FBI psyop. No, I think there are people this stupid. So this is MSNBC reporting that the Army of God are heading to the border. In response to the intensifying standoff between state officials and the federal government over border security, a group calling itself God's Army has said it will be leading a convoy of up to 40,000 trucks from Virginia to the southern border this week, ending February 3rd. With its stated goal being, quote, take our border back, the convoy's organizers paint a portrait of an America that is besieged by dark, evil forces. God, they say, has charged Christians with halting an invasion of immigrants that is oh. poisoning the blood of the country. I thought it was going to be God demands that we allow every immigrant in because God loves us all or something like that. And no, um, God's army say the uh, kill them all. <coughs> and um, right, okay. MSNBC are the ones saying, well, we've got a pastor on and he says oh, that they're the right. good people. I, th I think the clue is that the, they're coming from Virginia. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't think this is going anywhere, to be honest, because, I mean, it's a protest, which, oh, let's, let's help out. I've heard the truckers are going down as well. May well be some sort of fed sale. Might be silly, but I, I do love the energy, though, because, I mean, we mentioned before the medieval Total War II intro, whenever a crusade is called. Yeah. The Holy Bible may preach peace, but when Christendom itself is threatened. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, the army of God turn up, which, um, Hell, I mean, just well, we, I mean, it's game, game over for the immigrants, isn't it? <laughs> what the crusaders, right? We'll go back quietly, Gov. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think anything's going to come of it. No, I, that's one's just a, a nice, uh, funny story, which is uh, that. But the standoff is still happening between yep. Texas and um, the, the red states versus the federal government. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure where that's going because nothing's happened. Well, Biden seems to have backed down slightly on it, doesn't he? Because um, I, th I think Texas has got, has got the support of 25 other uh, states. Yeah, and Biden is absconding his duty to protect the integrity of the borders of the United States. Indeed, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So, I suppose we'll, we'll see what happens with that one. But anyway, that's the MAGA border. Proposals are in the works. Um, I don't know if Donald Trump has reiterated his position. Maybe it, he's got a new one now. We can only pray. And, Order um, with armed nuclear weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> with tripwires tactical nuclear mines yeah so if someone does trip it it, it spoils the, the world for everyone <laughs> if you appreciated that episode from the podcast of the lotus eaters you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium contents on the site such as the brokenomic series at this episode on islam with robert spencer if you'd like to find out what else is being put out you can follow on twitter at lotus underscore com on twitter thank you and goodbye <laughs>